it's a bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> And poor Sweet Pea, I think he's missing a little bit of tail. So you call him well. Sweet Pea? He's called it, Sweet Pea? He is, look. Oh, yeah. bless. <laughs> we didn't christen him. He was already christened that, yes. So it looks a bit Frankenstein now, doesn't he it? He does. At least all the pieces are there. It looks quite crude, yeah. but the pieces are all there. <laughs> yeah. So you haven't got to make anything up apart from a few little spots here and there. That's true. That makes it easier. Yeah. yeah. Right. Well, <laughs> I don't know about easy, but <laughs> it, it certainly helps. It yeah. helps. So I'm just applying the paint stripper now. This should start to break down the previous adhesive, which will enable me to um, remove it and undo the previous repair. What have you done? You covered him up. Yeah, I've covered him up. It's to hold the um, the active chemicals sort of in place so okay. that they can actually work on the adhesive. It's not going very well, actually. It's um, proving incredibly difficult to actually get the old adhesive off Sweet Pea. I don't know what they use, but it's absolutely rock hard, and I've tried all my usual techniques to actually try and break down the repair, and um, I'm just getting nowhere at the moment, so it's quite frustrating. I just have to be really mindful of not actually damaging the brake edges. Might be a bit ambitious. And that's definitely not the ceramic that's crunching, is it, Steve? That's adhesive, I'm You're sure. You're starting to make me nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Kirsten has realised that she is in danger of further damaging the ceramic. I've tried absolutely everything I could possibly think of, and also. Um, asked around as well so for a few of my conservative friends. So she's had to change tack. Instead of breaking Sweet Pea apart, then putting him back together again, she's concentrating on improving the existing repairs. I'm now having to fill Sweet Pea, um, which is a little bit of a compromise. Um, it's not ideal, but it's the only thing that I can do actually in these circumstances. I'm just starting to block in the colours and sort of try and um, hide the white fills that are there. There's lots and lots of different colours all over the face. But the decoration under the glaze is very sort of spotty, so I kind of just stipple with my brush to recreate that effect. Putting Sweet Pea's tail back on is sort of a little bit like surgery, restoring him to his former glory. It's really critical to get the shape absolutely right at this stage. Um, you can um, sand it and shape it once it's cured, but it becomes very, very hard, and it's much, much easier to do it now while it's soft and, and malleable. Sounds like you've got a new toy. <laughs> Kept that quiet, didn't you? Yeah, hey? You love a bit of kit. I do love a bit of kit. So I'm just doing a little bit of airbrushing on Sweet Pea. I've hand painted most of it, and I was actually just sort of putting a clear glaze over the okay. top. There he is. <laughs> so, wow. The eyes well. are all there. Just wow. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just me. Wow. Good grief. Obviously, the tail ah, is missing oh, as fantastic. well. Oh, fantastic. So I hope, yeah. that, I hope that's the right... No, that's um, beautiful. Well, it's perfect. Can't it's get this. Sweet pea looks stunning. And I think the tail, just the icing on the cake, to have the whole thing finished off. And the colour match as well around the head, the shading. Beautiful.